I have a lot of projects that run on Zoom and there, if both of us have the time to keep it ticking over, which isn't guaranteed, then we'll take an hour or two a week and have to spend half of that hour or two remembering where we got to last week, do a few computations, then one of us has to run off to teach or something like this, and it, and it moves very fitfully and sort of most of the time is spent catching up. Having someone in person where you can, you know, go to the board, which you've put up the do not erase sign on, so it's... Everything you wrote yesterday is still there and you can pick up where you left off and be in front of the same board pointing at the same diagrams and equations. There's, there's something to pointing that, at least for me, is much more satisfying than trying to use the little pointer tool on, on the Zoom whiteboard that the other person has, has incarnated. In terms of an, an aha moment, seeing an aha moment realized kind of in a social space, Juniha, who's the organizer of this special year gave one of the mathematical conversations talks on Wednesday night about counting hyperplanes and matroids, which he thought uh, the geometric technique he had couldn't be applied to. And I said, oh no, they can. They have this valuative property. You can use the game. And so having a question kind of drop out between the two of us that we both could attack from each side and see if the technique would be used. That was a, a, a nice eureka moment. Oh, there's something that we could do here. Didn't pan out in the easiest way, but we're still chewing on it, whether there's some algebraic geometry we can throw at this problem.